Thank you for joining us for My Coast Home. I'm your host, Robin Colleen, and today we are here with D. Bottier Interiors, and we're going to learn about how to kind of spruce up a neutral palette and liven it up with color. We are here with Debbie Bottier today at D. Bottier Interiors, and we're so excited. She's got some great tips for us. Thank you. It we're so beautiful. glad to have you. We're tickled to death. Thank you for coming. What we'd like to find out is how do we spruce up or liven up a neutral color palette space? Well, actually, you can do it in many ways. You can do it with artwork. You can do it with lamps, flowers, uh, throw pillows. You know, you can really change a sofa mm -hmm. or in a room by changing out the throw pillows. What is the color trend for 2021? I know you have the inside <laughs> scoop. The color trend is color again, because for so long we've been in neutrals, tone right. on tone, white on white. And thank goodness we're back into getting color back into people's lives and homes, because to me, uh, color makes you happy. Nice. After Katrina, I remember everybody that had lost everything and wanted to replace, they wanted happy colors. They didn't want anything, you know, dreary and browns mm -hmm. and beiges and whatnot. Right. And I think with what's been going on in the country, I think that's now come back right. again. Everyone wants to feel good and they want color in their lives and in their homes and they're ready to to bring it back. Well, I like monochromatic, but I just bought a pillow that has purple in it. So I'm like, That's okay, it, yeah. I'm being brave. That's so. it. You got you to start somewhere. Yeah. So is there any particular colors? <laughs> like I, I read something one time and it said really a bright yellow and gray. They're mixing those palettes? They're mixing or? those, but we're seeing more blues. Blue is definitely a standard that never seems to go out of style. It may change in other ways, get real light or get dark or right. whatever. But right now, any kind of, any shade of blue and especially the more vibrant blues are back really big. So I did good wearing this shirt. You did great. <laughs> Absolutely. I did this for you. You did. You must have, you must have known what I the colors know. were. Yeah. I was reading. That was great. Yeah. So if somebody's scared to start with color, what mm -hmm. would you suggest to start with? What are some tips? Well, if they're a little afraid and, and want to just kind of put their toes in, mm -hmm. then I usually say throw pillows, accessories, maybe change out a lamp or artwork. But if they really just want to get in there a little bit, just start with a pillow. Rugs are also really good. The other thing is don't follow a trend. If you follow a fad or a trend, mm -hmm. you're going to get tired of it. And right. each, each person's home should be uniquely theirs. Right. So we don't ever copy when I'm doing homes or offices or whatever. Everything I do is always original and one of a kind to that particular case. And we don't cookie cut or anything. So right. when you shop with us or have us help you, everything is going to be indiv individually chosen according to what your needs are, what your budget is, and what right. you're doing. Well, I've seen a couple of homes you've done, and, and it's amazing. And it's like you could take on the person's character right. or personality. Yeah. So you're really amazing that's, at that's that. That's it. That's the secret. Right. As long as you can make that connection, which I've never had a problem talking to people, as you can probably tell. <laughs> um, once I make the connection with them and I learn their personality and what their likes are and whatnot, it's usually right. pretty easy to key into what they're what they're wanting. Well, let me ask you, you mentioned a fad. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this, since you're the expert, is gold a fad or is it here to stay? No, gold is here always. It will never okay. go away. Okay. Anything gold or antique brass or brass or whatever. For a while there, everybody was on this pewter and right. silver and whatever, you know, you didn't see gold very much. Right. I was still using gold. Okay. I mean, to me, gold is a classic and timeless. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people like the silver and the brush pewter, and that's fine. Right. Do that too. But don't be afraid to bring gold in because, as you can say, as you can probably tell, it's mm -hmm. back in a big way. It is. But I never go in and out of fads. Well, how can you mix metals? What's a tip to mix the metals? I People look at me crazy when I'm doing their homes because... They'll say, oh, well, everything has to be the same metal, like we're right. doing a bathroom. Right. And I said, no. The light fixtures can be one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, your faucets and your tub and all of that can be a different thing. You don't have to match everything. And they mm -hmm. look at me like, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Until you do it. Until I do it. it and right. then they, or I take them and show them something that right. I've done that, oh, yeah, okay, that. Because you don't notice those things. If you're in right. someone's house, you're not looking around going, oh, well, that doesn't match that. And that doesn't. Right. Do you really right. don't. Right. If it looks good, then that's all that matters. Right. Thank you for watching My Coast Home. We make videos of coastal living and tips and tricks from the local pros. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell so you are notified every time we post a new video. Thank you so much to Debbie for having us at D. Bottier's Interiors, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.